Hello and welcome to our Dot3D Demo House complete point cloud data set of an entire residence captured with Dot3D Pro on a Microsoft Surface tablet. This scan was captured in five different scans leveraging four of our currently supported 3D depth cameras to highlight the unique benefits of each camera in different situations indoors and out, upstairs and down throughout this house. Today we're going to step through each of these scans and talk about which hardware was utilized and why and take a closer look at the benefits of each piece of technology and the resulting data. So the first scan we're going to take a look at here is scan number one captured with the DOT product DPI-10 kit. As you see in the images shown, the DPI-10 and the DPI-10SR are our more complete ruggedized solutions with a dual grip housing, rugged carrying case, 3D camera built into the back and are compatible with the Microsoft Surface Go, Surface Go 2, Surface Go 3, or Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 tablets exclusively. This is due to the nature of the ruggedized compact and complete design. In this case, we chose the DPI-10 in particular over the DPI-10SR or other Intel RealSense cameras because it is the most versatile and capable solution for interior room scale scanning. With its 2 to 12 foot range versus 1 to 6 for the SR model, it can easily move throughout multiple rooms, seeing up to 12 feet or 3.7 meters at any point in time, while capturing some of the most detailed, accurate, and well-rounded color point cloud data sets of any of our supported solutions or any handheld 3D capture solutions for that matter. As we take a closer look at the data captured in scan number one, you'll see that we've captured this entire scene of multiple rooms uh, very completely. Even more challenging areas such as the TV screen came out very nicely with the DPI-10. And you'll notice a high level of discrete detail across the scene despite the larger scene capture size and longer range. Not quite to that of the DPI-SR, but pretty close. And this, da this data looks very, very good. You'll also notice the one, two, three strategically placed April tags here in the kitchen. These mark the start and finish point of each scan and are also being utilized to stitch all five scans together using April tag registration. Our next scan, scan number two, was also captured with the DPI-10 kit. We maxed out our single scene size with the first scan so the second scan is covering the other half of this floor of the house uh, using the same method as the first, our DPI-10 for longer range, higher detail, versatile room scale scanning and filling in multiple additional rooms that will be stitched together utilizing those April tags. You'll notice that the April tags and the kitchen entirely has been cropped out uh, as we already captured that area in full detail with our first scan. Uh, and this kitchen was captured with all five scans, however, just to make sure we had those overlapping April tags, which once registered could be cropped out. As to the data itself, you'll notice that this data set is very comparable to the first. Excellent complete detail filled in of each corner of the room with a high level of detail. This floor of the house needed to be split into two scans because Dot3D Pro does have a current scene size limit of 160 million points depending on the device you're operating on. That translates in a residential environment like this with full detail of floor, ceiling, walls, furniture, etc. to about 750 to 1000 square feet per scan. Next we have scan number three captured with the DPI-X SR kit. You'll notice that the X variant of our DPI line of PrimeSense based 3D cameras is a more modular add-on that can simply attach onto the back of any compatible tablet and it is also a more affordable option than its older brother, the DPI-10. Given that in this case we're dealing with the DPI-X SR, the first thing you'll notice is that this is a much smaller area scan focusing exclusively on the small bathroom here in the home. This is because that is where the DPI-SR be it the X variant or the 10 variant, excels. With an operating range of 1.5 to 6 feet or 0.3 to 2 meters, this is by far the best option for close range capture of discrete details and is best suited for object or equipment scale scanning or extremely tight spaces. In this case we have both, capturing detail on the cabinetry, the toilet here, and squeezing in into tight corners where other options may not have been able to capture the data as easily. Next, with scan number four, we move down to the basement to capture with the Intel RealSense LiDAR camera L515. 
while the DPI cameras used upstairs would have uh, also worked very well down here in the basement. This scenario in particular did provide an excellent opportunity to showcase the L515. As you see here, the data itself is generally very comparable to that of your DPI-10 or DPI-X camera. The benefits in particular for the L515 include longer range, so it can see up to 20 feet or 6 meters at any particular point in time in a fully enclosed indoor environment. That's important to note because one of the drawbacks of the L515 is that it is very sensitive to sunlight. So not only can it not be used outdoors in the sun, but it can be severely impeded by significant window light. Hence why we're using it here in the basement where there are very minimal windows to bring sunlight into the space. Uh, it also can struggle significantly more with challenging surfaces such as grays, dark black, shiny surfaces, even just floor planes in general. As you see, it didn't quite fill in the data as completely here on the floor. Otherwise, the data came out very well, and despite some tracking struggles across some of the areas of the scene, we were able to capitalize on the much longer range across the large spaces in the basement and the tall stairwell here. Lastly, we have scan number 5, captured with an Intel RealSense Depth Camera D455 kit, calibrated by Dot Product. The biggest and most obvious benefit of the D455 over any of the other options here is that it is capable outdoors even in direct sunlight. Given the nature of the technology built into this camera, it can work indoors and out and capture excellent full color data in either situation. So in this case, we utilize the D455 to scan the entire exterior of the house. Just like every other scan, we had to start in the kitchen and return back to the kitchen at the end of the scan to capture those April tags. As you see, the data came out very nicely, and it benefits from a wider field of view, which assists with tracking across larger open spaces, a longer range than the DPI with about a 13 foot range, or four meters, and the data itself is a bit lower quality, otherwise you'd probably use this camera indoors as well, uh, it's important to note that you can do that, but the data is, especially at longer range, less accurate. Um, so you'll notice that up on the to up toward the roof of the house here, uh, the data has a bit more noise um, or bend to it, uh, whereas the close range data down by the base of the house is very accurate. Uh, this stitches together very nicely with the other data sets, as you'll see here. Now let's take a look at how it all comes together here in Autodesk Recap. Starting from the bottom, we have our Intel RealSense LiDAR Camera L515 scan of the basement, capitalizing on longer range for interior only scanning. Next, we have our two DPI-10 kit scans, capitalizing on maximum versatility and accuracy for primarily indoor scanning. Although it is worth noting that the DPI cameras can function outdoors, just not in direct sunlight, so shade, morning, evening, etc. Next we have our DPI XSR scan of the bathroom, capitalizing on close range discrete detail of particularly tight spaces, equipment, and objects such as the bathroom here in this residential example. Lastly, we have the entire exterior of the house captured with a dot product calibrated Intel RealSense D455 depth camera, capitalizing on full functionality outdoors even in bright sunlight. As you see here, all five scans stitched together incredibly well, especially given that we just utilized the bare minimum of three overlapping April tags to link these scans together in DOT3D. For more information on DOT3D Pro and all the different options outlined here today, please visit www.dotproduct3d.com and start with a DOT3D Pro trial.